Hello everybody, it's Crafty Rhea. I am here. I'm just pulling up my chat real quick on my phone. Okie dokie. So we have a bunch of people in chat already. We have Susan and Christine and Sharon. Angela, welcome everybody. If I missed anybody, Carla. I'm just catching up on the chat. Had a little technical difficulty, but we got it. We're here. I hope you guys can hear me and see me okay. I hope everybody is having a good Monday. And nobody has bad weather. I know they're in the Northeast, they, they're they having or had a tropical storm. I hope everybody is safe from that. Today is Monday, August 23rd, and it's really hot and humid here in Ohio. I don't know how it is for the rest of you. Hi, Denise. All right, so tonight we're gonna do my usual. <laughs> we're gonna open some mail. I have a bunch of mail to open. And then, I don't know, we'll do some crafting. I don't really know what we're going to do, but we'll figure it out as we go. My stream elements bot is running and there's a little robot face. That's kind of cute, actually. Hi, Val. My BFF Valerie is here. Hello, hello. All righty. Let me start with a couple small things that I got in the mail. And I have a couple little tiny things. Well, they're not really little, but they're small in size, but not small in character. How's that? Yeah, hot and humid here in Ohio. Yucky. So I, um, a lot of the mail that I have today is from the group Creativity Swaps Happy Mail and Friendship. Um, that's a Facebook group, so head on over there if you haven't already and check them out. And while you're on Facebook, don't forget to go to Create with Crafty Rhea and sign up over there. That is my group. And I would love to have you join. It's a lot of fun. I know, Val, it's been a while. I feel like we haven't chatted in a while either. Um... Let's see, it's just been crazy busy here. I'm reading the chat. Okay, Angela. Um, I will, I usually check the post office box on the weekend. I checked it yesterday and I did get Christine's, um, which was the international one that I was waiting on. But if anybody else has ATCs coming my way, let me know and I will wait. Otherwise, Angela, when I get yours, I will pair them up and send them out. Okay, and this is from Kelly. It is from my Amazon wish list. It's just a nice little packet of flowers. And then I have this one as well. And this is from Lisa Bagwell from my wishes. These are really cool. I love using little flowers as, as embellishments, and I picked out a bunch on Amazon because I thought they would be fun. So thank you, um, Lisa and Kelly. I really appreciate it, and those will be put to good use. No, they didn't. I'm surprised, Christine. I am surprised. And we have, this is from... Let me peek and see. This is from Tanya. And look at this, Valerie. Look at that washi tape. Does that remind you of anything? Valerie and I went shopping and I bought this uh, paper and it has the same um, pineapples on it. I'm gonna save that piece of washi tape. That is awesome. I need to get the um, a roll of that washi tape. 
Yes, these, I also have these over here. Let me get them. I have those too from a prior wish. These are from Lisa Bagwell as well. They're pretty similar. These are more like sunflowers and these are more like daisies. And then these are kind of like anything flowers. I love using those flowers. This is from, I think she says, I'm not sure how she says her name and I'm probably saying it wrong. Tanya, if you're watching, please, please correct me and tell me the right way to say your name. I love all of the pineapples. They're so much fun. I'm going to, I think I'm going to save that piece of washi and I need to look for it in a um, roll. This was from the butterfly tag and she sent this beautiful paper. This is from American Crafts. I love this. I don't know if it's double sided. It's single sided, but it's a 12 by 12 sheet. I love those butterflies. And then there's this piece. They are so pretty. And these are from Park Lane. And I think Park Lane is a Joann's company. I've seen their products on Joann's. If you guys know, let me know. This is such a pretty stamp and die set. It has the um, die there. Let me see if it's just the one. Let's open it. And it's marked $249. I can't believe that is only $249. That's amazing. Let me see. Yeah, that's the die. There's only the one die. It's the butterfly shape, which is fine. And I bet it works with that butterfly. Probably not with the other one, right? With just that one. But I love the little house and the llama. That's such a pretty die set. I can't believe it would only be $249. That's insane. I have a few items from Park Lane um, bling that I had gotten from Joann's and it's really nice. Their stuff's very pretty. But I love this set. That's really cool. And these are also from Park Lane. This says thankful and grateful and it has a couple butterflies and they look like they're ready-made. Yeah, they're shaker boxes shaker stickers and then here is another one with a rose and a butterfly so it they do all the hard work for you you just stick it on your project and look at these butterflies now these are from sticko they are kind of like they're puffy a little bit it almost looks like foil but not quite those are so pretty I'm thinking those would look good on some of the painty papers. Super, super pretty. I love this set. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and seal this back up a little bit. My local Joann's is small. I mean, it's tiny. It's about the size of my bathroom is what I say. It is small. It is crowded. I don't mean crowded with people. I mean just cluttered. It has clutter everywhere, but yet they have nothing. I don't know. I've gotten a few good things on their, um, on their clearance section once in a while, but I hardly ever, ever find anything good at Joann's. <coughs> <clears throat> all righty and I have a couple other smaller goodies this is from Valerie oh this is the flip down notepad this is a swap that we're doing or a tag that we're doing in the group the creativity swaps 
Happy Mail and Friendship. And there was a video on how to make these. And this is the f flip, what did she call it? Flip down notepad. And it basically is just a notepad. And she sewed it on like the sewing machine there. It looks like she took a long piece of paper, folded it in half, and sewed right through the middle to make a notepad. And there's a pocket in the front here with some goodies in it. Some ephemera or journaling spots. Now I can't get them back in, of course. And then this is like a, this I think is a brad with like a, just a round piece around it. It is like a, uh, oh, what do I want to say? Not jute, but you know, like fabric cording. And then just a little string there with some pretty lace. So that's kind of neat. Now I have to make one to send to my partner it may not be as nice as this, but I'll we'll figure something out as I go. Hello, Agnes. Alrighty. And there is also this package from Amazon. I don't even remember what it was. I peeked at everything. Oh, this is easy. This is from, again, from Tanya. And this was one of my wishes. And this is the Pilot G2 pens. I actually just got a box of the purple ones today. These are my favorite pens in the whole wide world. I use the purple ones all the time. I buy them by the dozen, um, the G2 pens. They are awesome. If you want a really good writing gel pen, these are it. They're a gel roller pen and they are awesome. I thought this little multi-pack would be pretty cool. I like all of the colors. We might as well open it. I'll write with them. Boy, this is an exciting stream. Crafty Rhea writes with pens. All right, so this is a pretty, like a dark red color. I kind of like it, that's neat. And I love this blue color. Yep, and the pink, I don't have it. these pens in any other, look at this, I wrote red, it's pink. Boy, I'm an idiot. There we go, pink. <laughs> and then, of course, the best color of all, purple. And like I said, I use these pens at work all the time. I always have a whole box at my work desk. But I also use pink pens and other colors to diff color code different things that I'm doing. So that is awesome. I will use those for sure. I have a set of peacock pens. My friend Rhonda sent me a whole thing of pens that look like peacock feathers and they're all different colors. And I have those at my desk too. I use those. They write pretty good actually. For a novelty pen, I was surprised that they write they wrote so good. Yeah, the G2 pens, they are they are my my favorite. Yes, Angela, <laughs> the pens match the ink. Um, I've, I've used the purple ones for years. I accidentally got one at work. Maybe I stole it from someone, I don't remember. But anyway, I, when I learned about them, I knew I had to buy them by the box. And purple is the best color, absolutely. And then here, does this look familiar? This is Christine's package. And this came halfway across the globe. And this is from Down Under. I'll start with the card. And 
look at that beautiful paper on there she said that she really appreciates my videos and your teaching how to do things. Um, the paper I have used on this card and on the ATCs is representative of Pava shell, which is New Zealand native abalone shell. There is also the New Zealand flag, a fern which um, the athletes wear on their uniforms. Um, the rugby team and the Olympic athletes. Let's see. The little brown bird is a kiwi, which is the nickname we give to ourselves. Sorry for the delay in getting these to you. I look forward to receiving my ATCs from others. And she included some other goodies, but look at that beautiful paper. It almost kind of matches my nails. That is funny. I didn't plan it that way. And these are the ATCs that she made with the flag and the fern and the kiwi. I have seen kiwi birds. They are cool. And they are all, I think they're all the same. Very cool. And then she put her info on the back. Very, very cool. I love that paper. That is so pretty. Pawa. Okay. Got it. And she sent some goodies here. Some little mini doilies. Those are awesome. I need doilies. I have some bigger ones. And some flags. And then the other patriotic the stars and this really pretty lace oh i think it's self-adhesive yes it is self-adhesive lace that's really pretty all right let me put these back in this little baggie yes the shell is so pretty i have nail polish that well, not what I'm wearing now, but a nail polish that I think is called abalone or abalone or whatever, however you say it. And it is that um, dark color. And if you move it, it shimmers. And then these are some embossed card stocks. We have that is almost like a little sun, um, sunburst. We have some trees, which would be great for the fall. I have a little um, leaf punch that would be great. I don't know if you there you can see it there, I think. Um, it has little tiny leaves. That would be awesome for that. And this owl, he's kind of cool. And then some card bases. They're neat. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Very cool. I don't have a lot of patriotic stuff. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> I'm see so my friend in New Zealand is sending me American stuff. I love it. <laughs> And uh, that is awesome, thank you. I will put those with my ATCs and I will be, once I get Angela's, I will be um, sending them out, swapping them out. Hello BD Crafts and more. Let me take a quick sip of my drink and then we will continue. Oh, wow, I didn't know Hobby Lobby was having a big sale on dyes. Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me these things. Is it another one of their seasonal clearances? They do those um, a couple times a year, and boy, oh boy, when they have stuff on clearance, I kind of go a little bit crazy. All right, then we have two bigger packages. We have this one that's burst and literally bursting at the seams. This is from the um, 
flat rate D stash tag over at Creativity Swaps Happy Mail and Friendship. And it was, we just sent a um, flat rate envelope full of D stash. And I'm going to say I'm a little late with mine. Mine is sitting over to the side over here, the one I need to send out. I thought I sent it last week, but I never did print the label. I have it ready to go, but I never did send it yet. So the first thing in here is this whole group of these little craft ink pads for fabric wood paper. And we have all of these colors. And these are all brand new in the package. I think this one might just have a little crack on it, but I think it's, it might have just happened during the shipping. But we have all of these colors. So there's 13, if I count right, 13 of these little ink pads. It's hard to see with the glare there. Yeah, I don't know when Hobby Lobby has their clearance sales, usually at the end of a season. Valerie and I went, when did we go, Valerie, and hit those? Um, a couple months ago, we hit, I guess it was the end of spring, maybe in June, May or June we hit one heck of a clearance. That's where I got all that pineapple stuff. So I have all of these pads and I actually have a lot of ink pads in all different colors. So I may, you may be seeing these in a giveaway coming up. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I still have to do my 2000 subscriber giveaway. So maybe that'll be one of the prizes, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going to have to check it out. I wonder if it's now the end of summer and they're doing it again. This is a um, facial sheet mask. Nourishes and hydrates the skin. Boy, I almost said that wrong. That would have de demonetized my channel if I said the wrong word there. Then we have this Studio 112 Acetone Die Cuts. I think there's two in this package. It says two. That's kind of cool. And these Halloween stickers, look how fun they are. I love the dog with the, the skeleton. That is so cool. This looks like they might be from Crafter Square, which is Dollar Tree. These are really neat. My Dollar Tree doesn't have anything like this in it yet. And we have some crazy art brushes, and these are colorful. And some of them have a neat shape, like they're slanted. So that's kind of cool. And we have some wooden shapes, a rose and a butterfly. These would be neat to paint to make ornaments for my Christmas tree. I have a rainbow Christmas tree and it's up all year and the tree itself is rainbow and I just decorate it for the different holidays and this I think is just some um, tissue paper which comes in handy a couple of glue sticks and a little Crafter Square, a little mini art canvas. It's so cute. My Dollar Tree, I think, does have those. And this is also Crafter Square. It is some stickers. I don't have, I haven't seen those at all. I don't have those, so that's cool. This is a little, um, I think it's like a little sticky note pad. It's really cute. 
and a couple other things a little mini composition book and it looks like she started doing some painty papers in there that would be neat to do the whole thing as painty papers I might have to play around with that and then that oh this is from I guess I should have said to begin with is this is from Amber Patterson and this is the um, D stash flat rate D stash okay they haven't started marking down yet it just depends on the area because I know sometimes I see them on YouTube that they're marking them down and I go to mine and there's nothing or the although sometimes I go to mine and find that they've marked a bunch of stuff down but I haven't seen them put it anywhere yet so I'm not sure I'm not sure what their thinking is and I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in my big mail bag I guess I'll show you what my mail bag is this is my mail bag I was using a Trader Joe's bag but I didn't empty it from last time this here is um, the Yorktown Museum bag that I got in Yorktown when we were in Williamsburg last month I got one from Yorktown and from Jamestown and I got them for actual shopping um, I usually go to Aldi and I bring my own bags but um, um, I used mine for mail this week yeah it might have been May or June I can't remember Alrighty, and then I have another big box. Let me bring it over. It's a priority mail box. It is a, I'll kind of show you. It's a medium flat rate box. I'm gonna leave it on the floor next to me. And this is from Dawn from the group Creativity Swaps Happy Mail and Friendship. She is so super generous. And this here is one of the things she sent. And it is this little tray. It says, oh, so lovely. It is really cool. I can use it for, I don't know, almost anything. I'm not sure what I'll use it for. If I'll use it on my dresser for rings and jewelry, or if I'll use it somewhere in my craft room but it will be put to good use in one of those two places. All right. And then she sent a bunch of cards and I do like these um, ribbons. And I think the cards at least most of them are new they probably haven't been written in yet that's so pretty and we'll just kind of go through them some of these I bet have neat insides and they look like they were from a mission or one of those things where you donate to this one is so pretty and see a lot of them have pictures on the insides as well and this one is so cool it looks like an ornament and I am in it is an ornament I'm in um, or I'm going to be participating in the group for um, Christmas ornaments and that one I could use and remake into an ornament jazz it up a little bit this one is neat You know, I've heard about Little Birdie. I need to check into that again. I think that's a website where you can get inexpensive 
stickers and embellishments and things like that. I really like that. And look at like the inside, so cool. Those cards are so neat. This one is really pretty. A lot of silver on there. Oh, and I do have a, that one's kind of cool too, a card sketch video. It's in my camera. I have to edit it. But I did make a card sketch and did a couple of cards with that card sketch. Yeah, I'm going to have to check into that little birdie. I've seen a couple YouTubers mention it. That one is pretty. These are really pretty. And I like how some of them have purple. That one's beautiful. Purple hues to them. That's cool. That one is very pretty as well. That one is pretty. That looks familiar. I may have done something with one like that. Of course, you know, that would be really easy to, to do up with some bling, of course. Oh, that's gorgeous. And there's another really big one. So pretty. Let me see what the insides are like. The insides are pretty too. Some of them are duplicates. So pretty. Let me put those to the side. And then there is this stack and these are all the same. And this is the card. It has some silver doodads on there. I like that. That's so pretty. And those are American greetings. So there's a whole stack of these. So I need to think of an, a cool craft to do with those maybe, or an easy way to embellish those up. I'm definitely going to have to check out Little Birdie. And then there is this whole box of cards with this adorable dog. Which, you know, I love it. I love the dog. He's so cute. Let me see if I can open this. And of course, we can't just leave the cards plain. We have to do something cool with them. And those are American greetings too. And I think the envelopes are red, which is awesome. Love it. That's cool. I wonder if they're all the same. I would imagine they're all the same. Yeah, I think they're all the same. That is cool though. Yes, the Delta strain of the virus is awful. We've actually been kind of quarantining again ourselves over here because we have a cruise planned in the future and they test you for COVID. You have to be vaccinated and they test you for COVID before you get on the cruise. So we don't want to go anywhere because we don't want any chances of getting COVID before we get on this cruise ship. We'll see if the cruise goes. I don't know. But 
Yeah, the numbers are high here in Ohio, too. The sad part about it is where I live, very few people are vaccinated. So we just we're trying to be really careful. There is this really neat ribbon or a yarn. I love that. And then there's this whole stack of cards. Look at this adorable puppy with the hat. I love it. And that envelope is really pretty. It's all sparkly. And that's Tri-Land Corporation makes those cards. That is so pretty. And I haven't looked through these really at all. I've had that card before. I like that. And the Christmas balls. And the cat and the dog. I've had this one too, Joy to the World. I like that envelope though, that is really cool. Look at that envelope, that's awesome. He knows if you've been bad or good, <laughs> that's so cute. These have neat envelopes. Tis the season to be jolly and again with that awesome envelope. Oh, this one is cool as well. I wonder if the insides are neat. Yes, look at that. Oh, wow, these are neat. The cat and the dog. There's another one of those, Joy to the World. And the envelope matches, love it and another dog. She knows I love dogs too, so. And there are these, I've gotten these cards before. I've actually done some stuff with these cards. These are beautiful. I love these cards. I have other videos where I've done some stuff with these cards. I don't have this one though. That one is pretty. Not that the other ones aren't. Look at that, that's gorgeous. And a couple repeats there. Catch you later, Val, you take care. Have a good evening, thanks for stopping in. That is pretty, the covered bridge. We've got some repeats. That's pretty. Oh, I love this one. I've had that card before too. I love it. That is so pretty. I'm gonna have to think of something fun to do with a lot of these big ones. That is neat. I've had that card before too. I'm gonna set those aside. And I've had that one as well. I'll put that aside. These all look familiar. And this one too. Some of these I've had that were used. I haven't had them new. Oh, that's cute. Look, it's got the little owls and stuff in the tree. That's really neat. And the door card. I'm trying to go through them a little quick. These are neat. I bet the insides are cool. I can just tell. Yeah, see the insides all have something neat. I love that. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's cool. It's got a neat envelope too, I love it. And these Christmas lights, bulbs. And look at the envelope, love this. That's so neat how the envelopes match. I love this, this is so awesome. Oh, isn't that pretty? We have a couple of those. 
I had this and it was smaller and I think I made two cards out of it in an old video. That's pretty. Yes, I'm like, oh yes, I've had this card before. I have that card, you're right. You're right, I see the same cards over and over. I'm like, oh, I've done that before. That's neat. The ornament of a house is the people who frequent it. That's neat. I'm setting some aside because I have some ideas because I don't really have a lot planned out for my show tonight. I thought I would wing it. I love this one, this cardinal, so pretty. And then these are slimline cards, or what we would call slimline cards. And I think for slimline, it's just long and narrow. It's nothing. I don't know that there's an actual dimension that it has to be. I think it's the catch-all term for long and narrow or one of the regular business size envelopes that you can get at the, um, like at Walmart or wherever. I'm catching up on the chat here. You're exactly right, Angela. I can try different things and, um, you know, make all kinds of different, different, try different techniques with each card. And sometimes it's neat to have more than one of a card because you can cut it apart and layer it on itself. These are, I think they are just little glitter pockets like this one here. This would be good for a New Year's card. I'm not sure what these are from, if they were cut off from something or if they are just meant to hold the sequins on the inside. This one here looks like maybe a piece of cake. I'm not sure and it has all of those sequins. But there's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch of these, like martini glasses and those. So I'm not sure what I will be making with those, but they are really cool. I could probably use some together and I could probably also take some apart because there's a whole bunch. That's right. I. I like taking them apart and layering them on top of one another and adding dimension. And then there is this. And she says, hi, Maria, painted papers tag. I enclosed with it a bunch of cards. Um, I am de-stashing. Hope you can repurpose and make them more beautiful. Thank you so much, Dawn. I like this big paper clip that is really cool. So here is the package of painty papers or painted papers. I call them painty papers because that's what I always heard Vicky call them, crafting Vicky. And um, so I, it's always stuck. I've always called them painty papers. And we have some beautiful painty papers. I'm in a painty papers tag, so I need to make some and send to my partner. So I have to get my paints out and get some papers going. I'll do a video. They won't be as good as Dawn's, I don't think. Dawn's are great. And it looks like, like this looks like it was a piece of tissue paper that she painted over and it's crinkly. It's really cool. And this is like a piece of pattern paper that she painted over. And look, there's all those gold flecks in there. 
I'm just trying to get ideas. This looks like cardstock. This looks like it was cardstock as well, but it has some shimmer on there. And here's another thin piece that must be that um, tissue paper, but it feels thicker than tissue paper. That's really neat. Here's one with a bunch of gold flecks on it. Super pretty, and that was a piece of regular printed paper. I love this one. This one is my favorite. And I look up into the camera and it's nowhere near as pretty as it is in person. That one reminds me of a peacock. And on the back is, I see, I don't know, I think it's, I don't know if they're scrap papers. This one feels like regular paper. Really pretty. Thank you, Dawn. I love these. They're so pretty. Alrighty, and that is all of my mail. So I'm not sure what we're going to do for the show tonight, but we'll do something fun. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. You saw a face in the purple one. Let me pull out that purple one and see. Oh yes, I see a face. I see the eyes and a mouth and kind of a nose. I see it. It reminds me of when you look into clouds and you see different things in the clouds. All right, let me set these cards down out of my my way here. I have stacks, stacks and stacks of cards on my desk. Alrighty. I set a couple of these out because I thought I would just add some bling to them. And I think I have an idea for this one too because of the word ornament. I love that envelope. That is so cool. Yeah, they kind of do, but I think they're thinner than what's in those little bags. Oh, you saw a longer face. See, I saw the little short chubby face. <laughs> but you're right. It is. Everybody does see things differently. Let me grab my Christmas box over here. And let's see, I have a couple of things in here. I have those and I have these ornaments. That's what made me think of this card are these ornaments. These I got with Valerie at the um, sale that we went to at Hobby Lobby, 99 cents. And I thought I would just put one. I would like to keep the card pretty much the same. I don't want to do, I don't want to like remake the whole card since it's already there and the envelope matches. So I thought I would just add one of these ornaments to it kind of as the focal point and maybe a couple of these these um yeah I think that might be cool maybe let me see what colors I want I have that doesn't really show up 
I have white and clear, but they won't show up either. So I think I'm going to use the blue because the blue is what's going to show up the best. And then I will put one of these ornaments. And on and I'm thinking because it says the ornament of a house is the people who frequent it. And so I thought ornament. I think an ornament would go good on here and I might use this red. And this is three dimensional. It has three layers. So I'm thinking I might just kind of put it. Well, that's probably going to have to stay there now because I stuck it down. Now it'll go there. I think I'll just put the ornament right down there in the middle and then put these two um, snowflakes there and there. Let me put these back in this bag. I got these last week. I opened these on my show last Monday. And these were from Valerie in the group. And I've already used a few of them, so that's kind of cool. I have glue dots someplace handy. Let me see if I can find them. I just had them. Oh, here they are. <laughs> they were on the other side of my table. I was thinking about that to make the make it look like it is hanging. But I don't have any string handy. I'm looking around to see if I have any string. That's the problem with doing a live show. I don't have everything handy. I could always go back and do it and bring the string up to the top of the um, card. Yeah, I'm looking around. I don't have anything. Let me look in one more place here. That's kind of close. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. I have my ribbon box. I don't know if I have any string or cut the hook off. I kind of like the hook, but I like it. I like the idea of a string. Oh, I think I know where I have. I have some twine, maybe. All right, I'm going to walk over here. I'm taking you with me across my craft room. I'm looking in my drawers over here. I thought I had some twine. I do, I do. All right, I'm coming back. I would like gold, but I don't think I have gold handy. Oh, I got myself all tangled up. I'm tangled up in my microphone, guys. Hold on. Technical difficulties. This is what happens when I have a microphone cord that's too long. Oh boy. It's all tangled around my chair. Hold on. I'm coming back. How in the world? It's a good thing I don't have a full length um, camera. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it. If I go to stand up later, I might break my neck. Okay. He'll sing. Somebody sing a song while I hunt. Because it won't be me singing, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, no. Now I'm stuck. All right. <laughs> I am really totally... My microphone cord is all wrapped around my chair. Oh, I have this one here that has silver. And I have solid silver. And I have white and silver. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, my microphone cord is super long. And it is now wrapped around everything. And where did I, where did it go? It's on the bottom. There we go. Okay, so I have this guy, I have this silver cord. I think that would be good. Let me cut a piece of it a little longer than the card. All right, and cut a piece or take a piece off. All right. There we go. It's not very well, Crichton is very interested. I think what I will do is put this kind of above it, and that way I can hide the back of the string. So I'm going to take this glue dot I'm getting a little creative here. Yep, he's going at it already. He is crazy. He's been very vocal this evening. Yes, Crichton, we all hear you. And then I'm going to just trim the cord off at the top. and peel that off and stick this on. I'm going to try to off center it a little so it doesn't look like it's directly over top of the cord. So we do have that hanging there now, <clears throat> hanging there now. There goes my voice. And then I'll put this guy, I'll let Creighton do all the talking for me because apparently I have lost my voice. I'll put this guy down at the bottom. And I'm going to get my bling box. Although I think I might make a bow on the hook with one of the strands. Look and see if I'm in frame here. This is really hard to make a bow with this tiny, tiny ribbon. I'm going to turn it upside down. And tune in tomorrow when I get the bow done. 
Crichton's going crazy tonight. Well, maybe I'll forget about this bow. One more time. One more try. Crichton wants to know why. There we go. I think I got it now. There we go. And I will pull it down small. I bet you guys can't even see what I'm doing because it's so small. Okay. There we go. And there is a little bow, but you probably can't tell. All right, and I'm going to get my bling box. Oh, I forgot that I'm tangled. I have to be careful. All right. And I want to put some bling on both of those. Yep, that's the bling I want. <clears throat> this is the bling I was talking about that is the Park Lane bling. I think I will use the smaller Park Lane bling on those blue um, snowflakes. And if you didn't have snowflakes or anything to put on here, you could just take bling and put it inside all of the snowflakes. So I think that came out really cool, especially because it talks about an ornament. So I did stick an ornament on there. So I like the way that came out. And we have the matching envelope someplace. Here it is. So that's really cool. That came out cool super easy. I love doing super easy cards like that. And I have these two cards. I have two of these. And I thought since I have my bling box out that I could go ahead and just decorate these just by putting bling on those Christmas trees. And one of them I'll do in multicolor bling and another one I'll do in a solid color so let me know what color you guys want me to do it in red green gold blue I don't know So I have this multicolor bling, which I love to use for Christmas trees. I have the small bling and I also have the big bling. Maybe I'll do one in small and one in big. I have a kind of a medium sized one too in this. I have really small, really big mediums. I think I'll use this kind of a medium size. All right. So then I'm just going to take this and just randomly put this 
on here as if it's on a regular Christmas tree. And I'll put those two up there. <laughs> I'm laughing at you, Angela. I was thinking, I think she means gold. There we go. So I have, let's see, a couple extra little pieces up here. Let me see. I'll put a piece right in the middle of the star. And this one, I was thinking gold too. Let me see what I have in gold. So I have some really small gold. That looks so pretty on there. And then I have big. I think I'll go with the littles. This is more of a yellow gold. I think this darker gold pops out a little bit better. I'm going to start with this sheet. I want to make sure they're the same color. I think that looks really good. And for this one, I'll put, on, put them on just a little bit more. Um, like they are really you know, more tightly on the tree. So there'll be a lot more bling. I have to laugh because the autocorrect gets me to, it makes me laugh. Sometimes we need autocorrect, but then other times it makes me crazy. Maybe your keyboard was making you think that gold is good, because gold is good. There we go, and I will put a big gold piece of bling up at the top of that one. Right up there for the star. Crichton's very excited. <laughs> he is so funny. He has a mind of his own and he's in a world of his own. So those two cards are done really quick and easy. And I love, I love, love, love doing quick and easy cards. And let's see, I think this year I'm going to have a ton of cards going out, or at least having them made. 
And this one here, we have the um, envelope that matches. And I thought I would put some Christmas lights on this tree. I'll probably do clear on there so it doesn't take away from the all of the background colors. Oh, I haven't ever used the, the swipe thing. I thought about doing it, but I'm not sure. I would probably have the same issues. Most of the time when I do a lot of typing, I use my computer. I'm not as quick at texting. I can much better type with both hands than I can text. All right, and I think I will just add some bling to this tree. Single lights at random. That's a good idea, too. I might do that on this next one. Let me see. I might add lights on this one. I might add single ones to this guy. Or I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Let me come back to him. Let me just add some strands on this guy. Or maybe single on this guy too. Maybe single clear ones, bigger clear ones. Let me put these back. I'd always rather talk than text. I wonder if I have enough single big ones. Yeah, I do. Clear. I'm just going to add some clear single ones randomly to this. And I might go in with some blue and some red ones too. Since there are red and blue ornaments on this tree. I'll put one right up in this star. These are really hard to pull apart. Oh yes, thank you Pretty Petal. Do give it a thumbs up if you're thinking of it. There we go, so I have some clear. I think I'll put some red and some blue in that one as well. We have red and blue. At the end of my streams, the stream elements will come up and tell me how many people watched and how many likes and it's really kind of cool. It gives me a lot of neat um, feedback, which is neat. Oh, I like that with the red in there. And stream elements also does some different things. If you type exclamation point clap, maybe, um, 
And I think there's an eight ball where you can ask the magic eight ball stuff. I don't know that much about it. Um, there's different commands you could put in, in the chat. So, um, a lot of the streamers on Twitch use it in their music streams. And so at the end of a song, we all type, you know, exclamation point clap and a bunch of hands come up and clap. And it's really cool. It's not as useful, I don't think, on YouTube or for a crafting stream, but I think it's pretty cool for a music stream. So we have some red, and I'll put a few blue in there. I like the way that looks. I wonder if Todd is listening and he can go bump the air down. Well, hello, Shannon. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Yep, I like the blue in there, too. We're just doing some fun crafting some Christmas cards today, Shannon. These are some that I got in a package from Dawn. Oh, I guess it's not. Nope, doesn't work. Okay, well, thank you for trying it, Christine. I'm going to have to look more into stream elements and see what it offers. I don't know that much about it. There are some things that it'll do with some automatic messages and stuff, but I don't know much about that either. I haven't really messed with it at all. And I have one more blue one. There we go. That looks kind of cool. And I think it has an envelope. Very cool. And then we have this guy. It does look like a 4th of July tree. It's red, white, and blue. I think I'll do the um, clear ones on here. Yeah, I don't know much about that. Um, stream elements. I got to learn more about it. It is really cool. Yeah, ours, we can control our lights and stuff from the phone. Like I can tell Siri to turn on or off lights and also... I don't want to say the word, but the Amazon device will um, control lights in our house, too, but not the thermostat. We just recently um, got a new thermostat and everything, so I don't think we'll be getting a smart one anytime soon. But that would be cool if I could control it in here. I meant to bump it down before I started my um, show here. Crichton, go turn down the air conditioner. He said, bow, wow, wow. I guess he wants Jonah to turn the air conditioner down. Jonah's too short, he can't reach it. And Crichton's in a cage, he can't reach it either. I like the way this one's looking. Yeah, all right. It's what happens when us women get old and certain things happen, you know. 
<laughs> and we need the thermostat to be set cooler. Also, I'm in my craft room with the door shut, so that makes a difference. It gets warm in here fast. So there we have that one. Oh, I hear Todd out in the other room. I don't want to shout to him and say, hey, Todd, turn the air down. I have some bigger silver ones or clear. I'll put that right in the middle of the star at the top. There we go. And it has its own really cool envelope that matches. These are really fun. The inside is neat too. I don't want to put anything too bulky on the inside though. Yeah, I like the little bling on things. I don't use the large bling very often. But I do like the way that that came out with the little one. And I kind of like this one, though, with the large bling all separated all over it. That's kind of neat. Patriotic Christmas tree. So these were some really fast and easy cards. I have this guy sitting out here as well. And I could just easily put some bling on there. Let me see. I have more of this, this size. This larger bling, these larger pieces, they do have them at the Dollar Tree in many different colors, but the really small ones I get from Amazon. They don't have the little tiny ones at the Dollar Tree, but they do have the big pieces and they have some pearls at the Dollar Tree. These are really like the glue is very thick on them. They're very hard to pull apart. And I don't know where these came from. I'm going to put them on these white pieces here too, because you know, you can never have enough bling on a card or on an anything. Oh look, I have exactly the right amount. These are really hard to pull apart. So yeah, these larger six millimeter maybe pieces of bling are from Dollar Tree. Or I don't know if they're all from Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree does have them. Let's put it that way. And the tiny ones are from Amazon. Um, and also AliExpress has the tiny ones as well. Maybe I'll put a piece across the bottom. I will put one. My Dollar Tree's not that great either. So then we have a piece going across the bottom. I like it. That's really cool. And that's just one quick, easy way to bling up a card. All right, so we have those. Let me put this bling away. So yeah, these this size bling I get from Amazon and also AliExpress. I don't know if AliExpress still has them. I haven't checked in a while, 
but sometimes that stuff takes months to get to you. Amazon is a better choice if you can find it there. And I have usually linked, there might be a link in my description of the small bling from Amazon. I can't remember if, I, if that link is still current or not. I would love to live close to a mega store. And Rosemary from Rosemary's You Rock Art went to, is it the American Crafts Warehouse in Utah? Oh my goodness, I am so jealous. I want to go there so bad. That would be awesome. Um, let's see what else I have back here. Let me see. I have these butterflies. Oh, I love this butterfly stuff. This here. I wonder if that would look good on any of the painty papers that we got today. It might look good on this too. Where's my package from Dawn? I would love to live near a mega store. Art Walmarts here, I mean not Walmarts, I can't talk. Our Dollar Trees here are really bad. Although there is one that is about an hour from me that's supposed to have one of those Crafter Square, it's supposed to be one of the Crafter Square stores. I think that would be too um, busy on that. So let's see if I can find one of these painty papers. I don't know if I can use my purple one. That one I think I'll save for a peacock. Oh, that might look good. I'll put that aside. That's got the right colors. That's got good colors too. That's pretty light. All right. I like that color blue too of the um, file folder. We have a little bit of Crafter Square in ours, but again, not much, just one or two things. I was wondering if I could use this as a background and put, mat one of these on here. I think that might work. Okay, let's try this. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. And let me get, I'll have to pick a piece of glitter paper here in a minute. I have to get my, um, my paper cutter. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to need my big paper cutter. I don't know the weight of Echo Park paper. It's 
Like you mean the thickness weight? I don't know. It's not super, super thin. Like this paper is pretty thin, but the Echo Park is kind of a, I want to say like a thin cardstock. Yeah, I don't know, like, the actual, the weight, weight of it. All right, so I want to cut this to be four and an eighth. Or so. So this is kind of folded, but that's okay. I don't think it's going to matter because I'm going to put stuff over top of it. It is um, it's like a thin cardstock, I would say. But I, like what poundage it is. I don't know. I'm cutting this by five and three eighths. So this will kind of be the background paper. Yeah, I think I'm going to like this. And then I will put one of these I'm actually, I might do two, two of them since I have enough of this paper. Let's go ahead and do two. Five and three eighths. And then I have that little piece left over. Oh, um, I would say just a regular white cardstock that you get from the office supply store might work. Copy paper would be too thin. I think I'm going to use the two smaller ones and I'm not sure if this is squared up. So I'm going to square up two edges of this paper. So I have those two edges squared up. Now the Cartabella designs, that is really thick cardstock. These are cool. These are like um, jelly. I don't know if you can kind of get an idea what these are made out of. That is really cool. Kind of jelly. They smell kind of like plastic. I had to stick it up to my nose and sniff it. I'm going to, I'm going to true up the other two sides. That way I can cut this any way I want and not have to worry that I'm missing out on a side here. All right, and then I'm going to just cut it out kind of like there. Yeah, Creighton is crazy. He's a crazy boy. Jonah is crazy. I was in here eating dinner. We had hamburgers for dinner. And he, I guess he thought he should have some of my hamburger. But I wouldn't give him any. And he kind of just sat underneath my feet, kind of drooling. Kind of made a men menace of himself, really. 
So we kind of have that. And then I'm going to do this littler one. I'm going to save that piece. And I'm going to do this smaller one. These are really pretty. Echo Park does have their, on their outlet, they frequently have the um, digital stuff. Is that where you got it? So then I have that little guy. I really do like Echo Park products and I like how a lot of their stuff matches. And I will put some glitter paper behind there to, so that will pop. Let me grab another card base for this guy and I'll do the same on this one. And I think I need some ribbon for the bottom and an embellishment. Let's see if I can put this somewhere. <laughs> I ran out of room on this part of my desk over there. Okay, let me grab... Um, some ribbons. I have that color. That might not work though. Let me see what else I have. Those. And these. Okay. Boy, I am really tangled up here tonight. Oh, that's really good. That's a great price. I like this one with it. That's a good color, I think. Okay, let me get my paper. I need to back this with maybe some um, glitter paper. And I happen to have glitter paper nearby. Crichton's very excited. Oh, I have this. This matches, I think. Let's see. That's a little different. I also have silver glitter. And I have this blue. I love this blue. It's so pretty. Yes, I've gotten emails like that with different um, specials, different days of the week. Or maybe it is on a Wednesday or something like that. I'd like to use some of my smaller pieces rather than cut into a big piece. The gold does not make it pop, though. Just 
rose gold, maybe. Mm -mm. Silver. That blue might be the best. I have this other one too. This is neat. Crichton is going a little bit crazy. This one might work on that holographic paper. That's just the right size. Let me see what I have. In some small pieces here. This is super shiny. Maybe I'll do it on that silver. And that way that'll use up the sizes that I already have. I think that'll work. I'll have to check them out next Wednesday and see. Okay, I think I will do this on this silver. And this blue down here. Unless I think I like this purple. I might like the purple. I always like the purple. Yeah, I think I like it with the purple because that has a lot of purple in it. All right, let's go with that on this card. I have to move my thing. Okay. I am really tangled up in my microphone. I'm going to put a bunch of glue on the back of this. Freebies are always great. This is, I don't know where this came from. It's kind of like a piece of fabric. Okay, let's put that down on that. You're going to be in the bread. I just got that. It took me a minute to understand what you were saying. Yes. I'm with you on that. I always say it's to support my channel. <laughs> That's my excuse that I use, but I know most of you don't have that same excuse. Echo Park really needs to give me a sponsorship or something. I don't have any, any deals going on with Echo Park. I buy full price just like you guys. I do have some deals with some other companies, but not Echo Park. BB Craft and Craspire are my main ones right now. I stopped dealing with In Love Arts. No. Yes. In Love Arts because of their customer service issues. And I told them why I was not working with them anymore either. Fabric type video or glitter. Yes. It might have been. I know I got some, a bunch in, in Happy Mail, too. 
and I did get um, a grab bag from the Pinecone Princess. Is that what her name is? And it had some in there, so that might be from her as well. I can't remember. All right. So we have that. That's kind of pretty. All blinged up and pretty. I love it. These are really pretty. Yes, I definitely did uh, stop the ones that had the bad customer service, for sure. It was sad because they were good to me. They just weren't good to other people that were not me. So I said, uh-uh, can't do that anymore. That's really neat. And I'll put a flower down here. Let's go ahead and put this other one together. I'm going to trim a little off the top of this so more of this paper shows through. That's crazy. That I have not heard. That is, that would make me really mad. That is nuts. I've seen some videos about other companies that have done essentially the same thing. And there are some places like AliExpress where they also steal um, artwork from people and copy it and sell it on their site. So that's another crazy thing. I don't buy dyes from them anymore that could be a designer. It would have to be just like plain circles or something like that. Something that I don't think is another designer's work. Because I don't think that's right either. Wow, that's crazy. I know that um, I know uh, quite a few designers that have had their work stolen from AliExpress and places of that sort. That's really sad because I know the designers work so hard, and sometimes people just don't know when they buy from them, they don't realize that it's someone else's artwork. I did a video a long time ago from AliExpress. Um, I bought some stuff from Stampin' Up! and then I bought the same thing from AliExpress on it because I wanted to compare it. And there is a big difference. The sizing is way different. But other than that, it looks the same. I think it's really bad that they steal the artwork like that. Now there are some original artists on AliExpress. 
there are um, you know stores on AliExpress and they are reputable just be careful if you're buying something because it could be you know ripped off from another company so I'm not saying all of AliExpress is bad or all of Wish or any of those places are is bad just know what you're buying I would guess I would say Yeah, Stampin' Ups are bigger. I bought both of them just to absolutely compare. The designs look exactly the same. They were blatant. I mean, they're not even trying to not be like them. But the size, like the Stampin' Up would be this big and then the AliExpress would be this big. So it's a big difference. But other than that, it looks exactly the same. Well, I think Amazon would, I think you would be safe on Amazon. I don't know that there would be knockoffs on Amazon. I don't think they would allow it, but I don't know for sure. But I'm pretty sure with Amazon, you're pretty safe, I would guess. And especially if the package says Stampin' Up, you're okay. It is AliExpress does not say Stampin' Up. It just says, you know, the ones I bought were Fox stamps, I think. But they won't say what they are. Who does, Angela? Is it Amazon that steals from them? I don't know. Now, Amazon is usually... Amazon makes very few of their own products. They have a lot of sellers that send stuff in. But if the package says Stampin' Up, it's pretty much going to be Stampin' Up. And a lot of people sell their items on Amazon, like Gina K. Design sells some of her stuff on Amazon, and it's the real deal. Um... Tim Holtz sells stuff on Amazon, or there's a lot of Tim Holtz products. Those are the real deal. So things that are on Amazon that have the actual name brand, that should be the real deal. I buy like We Are Memory Keepers. Like I bought, I bought this from them. They sell Echo Park stuff, all kinds of stuff. And it's all the real deal on Amazon. It's just AliExpress will have stuff that looks like it, but not branded. It doesn't have the name on it. And those are not the real deal. Right, they are, that's right, Christine. They are based on the picture, but they don't have the Stampin' Up! logo on it. And they are smaller in scale. Like if Stampin' Up!'s image is two, in, two inches, then the one on AliExpress might be an inch and a half or something. Yep, they, they steal the, the, I guess, the case art and they print them that way. And it's not as good as of a, um, you know, uh, an Im uh, I shouldn't say image. The image is exactly the same, but the um, material is not as good. They're not made out of the same high quality. So just know what you're buying. But I think from Amazon, I think you are okay. So I think I like this flower down at the bottom. You know me, I always like to put something over my ribbon like that. Maybe I'll do a yellow one. 
on that or pink. The purple doesn't really stand out. I think I like that pink. Right, they use silicone rather than the photopolymer or whatever the fancier, I don't know much about the stamps. It is a cheaper quality stamp. It probably works fine, but they're not as good as the actual true product. All right, so I'm going to put the pink on this one and the blue on the other. I think these are fun. I love using some of my Happy Mail and making something with it. That's kind of become my Monday night tradition. And Anne, my friend Anne, she's in the group. I've known Anne for years. She is sending me a challenge to do on my Monday night live show. So maybe I will have that for next Monday. I'm a little scared. She told me I needed upholstery adhesive <laughs> and I think really good scissors. So I don't know what I'm going to get myself into. I might be sorry I asked for challenges. But she's sending me something. I have, I have um, carpet tape that I bought on Amazon um, to use in crafting and she said that would work so I don't know I don't know what she's sending me I did as one of my wishes in the group creativity swaps happy mail and friendship I wished for a challenge to do on my Monday night live and like I said I may be sorry that I wished for these things because I may be getting myself into a whole world of hurt but I will leave that open since I mentioned it if anybody wants to send me a super easy challenge for Monday Night Live I'll feature it on the show if it's easy enough <laughs> I um I don't know if any of you watch Tracy and Bill at Mindless Crafting but about a year ago I sent them a challenge and made them do it on their show. I and I'm really surprised they never got me back, but that's okay. <laughs> Nobody remind them. <laughs> they are so much fun. I love watching them. And they are back on the air, so that is good. I don't know what I would make with upholstery. I don't know if you saw her post in the group, Shannon, when she asked me if I had a post upholstery adhesive, but maybe just like upholstery samples. You know, she did redo her kitchen, so maybe she had some upholstery samples. I don't know. We'll have to see. I know, Carla. I'm, I'm always afraid to say or to wish for something like that because somebody could be really crazy and give me a really hard challenge. I don't know. It would have to be an easy challenge. But you all know, you know my level of needing it to be easy. <laughs> so anyway, um... So that will be coming probably next Monday. We'll see what's in store for me from Anne. And I don't know what and if anybody else sent me any challenges. I will be going through the ATCs once I get Angela's um, package. Then um, I will... Uh, put them all together. I will do a video and show all of the ATCs that I received, but it will be a secret as to what I send back as far as, you know, how I divvy them up to send them back so everybody's surprised when you get it. I don't want to ruin the surprise for everybody. Um, I know, Shannon, <laughs> watch what I wish for. 
um, I, I laughed because I'm like, yeah, I have, I do have carpet tape. I bought double-sided carpet tape um, for a really heavy adhesive and I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to look for it. I think I know where it is. I have a bin up in the top of my closet that I keep all of my like duct tape and things like that in. So I think it's in there. So we'll see. Oh yes, Christine, I will, um, I'm sorry I didn't use any of those today. I don't even know where I put them. They're down, I know where they are, they're over here. I have them right here. I will work on those. I will leave those for another project. I'm very excited about the ATC swap. I need to make more ATCs so I have enough to swap. Um, I have to count up how many I have. And I will be keeping the ATC swap, um, a one-on-one -on -one ATC swap open going forward. So if anyone wants to send me one ATC, I will send you one back. So um, that will be always an ongoing thing. And then the same thing with greeting cards. If anybody wants to send me a greeting card for whatever reason, you know, uh, fall, Halloween, whatever, I'll always send you one back. So those are kind of swaps that I will always have open. I will be, um, thank you, Jean, Joan. Um, I will be opening up in Create with Crafty Rhea a Christmas card swap. That will be fun. Um, and probably within the next month or so, so we can get that going. We can swap with each other. Um, because I know a lot of us do make Christmas cards and, um, you know, like to send them out. So we have someone to send them to. So let's see, we have these guys. This was really fun. Those were really fun to make. And where did I put all of the other cards that I made? Um, let me see. Oh, I also have, I have so many things to do. Swap and glue. I got one from Rosemary. I need to start working on that. I'll show you what that is in the, in another video. And, um, um, that will be one of my next swap type things. Where did I put all of those Christmas cards I just made? I have lost my mind. I wanted to recap. Oh, I see. I buried them. Have you guys seen any of this type of ribbon in your Dollar Trees this year yet? I have not seen it yet, and I do love those ribbons. I'm hoping they have them again. If you guys see them, let me know. I need to go check out Dollar Tree. Okay. So here we have these. And the ornament. I do like that. That's really cool. And the patriotic tree. <laughs> and that one. And then the peace stuff. And then these two crazy butterfly cards. Let me know which card is your favorite 
from tonight's cards. I think I like the butterfly ones. And out of the Christmas cards, this one might be my favorite. Maybe the red, white, and blue one is might also be one of my favorites. Okay, so coming up will be the ATC cards. Watch for that video coming soon, as soon as I get Angela's package. If anyone else sent me a package and I have not shown them yet, let me know. Um, and I will wait for that. Then, um, Swap and glue is going to be my next project type thing, swapping in the mail. Next week, we'll see what kind of torture Anne is sending me. And I'm sure you guys will get a kick out of whatever it is. Um, yeah, I do. I think that one came out cool. I honestly did not like this card that much before I put the bling on it. It was just kind of like, meh, you know, plain. But once I put the red, white, and blue bling all over it, I think it added a whole different dimension. I don't know. I like it. Same with this one. I didn't really like it that much till I put the bling on it. See, bling makes everything better. Absolutely. Bling makes everything better. Yeah, this one I think really came out kind of cool. I'm really happy with that. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining me again for another Monday Night Live. I really enjoy our chats. Happy early birthday, Christine. That is awesome. Happy, happy, happy. I hope you have a wonderful birthday week. I usually celebrate my birthday for at least a whole week. Usually the whole week, the weekend, and then the whole following week. Because why not? So start today. Celebrate your birthday all through. And then um, celebrate it for one more week beyond. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you again for watching. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next video. Oh, wait, before we go, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do click on that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And now we'll say until the next video, you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye bye.